Hi everyone. This is this old Nancy. I've been uh, playing in the uh, design center again. Uh, working hard at trying to learn all the different parts of design center and uh, the project I'm going to show you um, this time around is I, I make these little, um, I call them bouquets, and they're uh, so, uh, lollipop covers. Uh, and you put a dum-dum uh, lollipop inside of them. And I here's a sample of um, some of the little bouquets that I've made. But I wanted to make one that uh, had all flowers in it, and I couldn't find a completed... Um, lollipop cover that was a flower so that was my goal when I went into design center this time and this is um, my flower that I ended up with um, making in completely in design center so that's what I'm going to show you today is um, some of the different steps that I did um, to end up with this beautiful flower. So first of all, we're going to go into Design Center. And I'm going to pick a shape. And the shape is going to be this one. And I'll say OK. And I know that I want my lollipop cover to be uh, around two and a half inches. So I'll click on the size button and up here it says it's um, 6.48 right now. And I'm going to hold down this square that has all of the arrows pointing in. That'll make it smaller. So I'll hold that down and watch those numbers up there until I get down to 2.50. And when you get close, then you just want to tap it. Otherwise, you zoom on by it, and then you got to come back. So there's my 2.5, so I'll say OK. That's going to be the very outside of my flower. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to assign stitches to this. When you're in Design Center, uh, you're just doing line drawings. It's artwork. It is not an embroidery design, so you have to assign stitches. So the, these four buttons up here all pertain to uh, what you can do with stitches. So I'm going to click on this little piece of paper, which is going to give me all my options. And I'm going to pick a straight stitch, which is this second one. And I'm going to make that one a pink. And I'll say, OK. Now I have to tell it to assign those stitches to that line drawing. So I use my paint bucket and I touch the line drawing and it turns it pink. You can see up here. And that means it's now going to stitch a straight stitch in that shape. And I want to save that so that I can use it over again. So I'm going to go down here to this pocket um, those um, represent pockets in your machine. The one with the arrow pointing to the left, you're going to put something in the pocket. If you want to go back and retrieve it and work on it again, you would pick the pocket with the arrow pointing uh, to the right, and that'll bring it out and put it up on your screen. So we're going to put it in the pocket, and we're going to tell it the machine, and it's saving it in there. So I now have that saved in my machine to use more than once. Now that would be my first layer of my uh, flower, which would be that I've hooped tearaway stabilizer in my hoop, and I've laid a piece of um, felt on on my on top of my stabilizer and I'm going to stitch around that and that's going to hold my felt to to the machine so that would be my first step I'm because I save that I'm going to start over to make the next layer so I'll click all clear 
and it'll, it'll erase it. it says it's going to erase it but it, it doesn't erase it in the pocket it only erases it off of off of the screen so i'm going to go um back in here and and get that back out of my pocket i'll go to my machine and here it is right up here um the the first one at the top is always the last thing that you you save so i'm going to click on that and set it and there it is um, back on my screen. Now what I need to, to do now is I need to get my flower here. I need to do that um, the veins of the flowers and um, everything on the inside of that of that flower design. Um, because what happens here is you need to leave an opening at the bottom of your lollipop cover in order to slide your lollipop in there. So you are doing the outer section. You have to do it in two parts. One part will stitch across here that much and with all the design in the center. And then later when this is all done, then you come back and do the rest of that outline stitch. And it ends up that you can't tell that you stopped here, but you end up with this opening for the lollipop. So I'm going to just use this as a guide this time around. I'm not going to stitch it. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to pick the no sew. Say, okay. And I'm going to go up here, get my paint bucket and click on that. And now it's not going to sew that. It's just going to use it uh, as a line drawing uh, to show me the area that I need to work in. And I'm going to go up here to the magnifying glass and blow it up a little bit so I can see it better. Okay? So you see it's black now and it's got kind of a little squiggly line. That's what indicates that it's not going to sew that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a circle to the middle only as a guide. So I'm going to go in here and pick just the plain circle. And I want that to be um, just a little less than uh, a half an inch. So I'll size it, hold that button down, take this down to, oh, maybe 0.45. It's in two point something. Now it's one point. Now we're getting close. We're down to um, point, there's 0.56. So I'm going to... Just click on it until I get it down to 0.45. Okay. And I'll say okay. And there it is in the center of my flower. And it also has um, the squiggly line, which means that it's not going to sew that. But I'm going to check it and make sure that's what it's doing. It's no sew. And I'll get my paint bucket and touch it. And you hear that click, click. That means it's already been assigned um, to that circle. And I'm going to use that as a guide. That's the center of my flower. So what I need to draw right now is I'm going to draw. Let's see, get my flower back here. I'm going to draw these um these heavy satin stitch lines um, that's part of the flower petals, outlining the flower petals. So I go in back into my um, st uh, stitch here, and this time I'm going to pick this straight line right here. That means any line that I draw on the screen right now, it'll it do an absolute straight line. So that's the one I want. And I want it I want it to be the satin stitch. So I'll pick the zigzag and let's put it in blue. And I'll go okay. And now I'm going to draw those lines. To do that, I'm not going to use this pointer that I'm using there. I'm going to use my stylus. And I'm going to start up here and touch the screen and well, how come it, oh, because I need to, I need to pick this line. 
So I'm gonna pick the satin stitch in blue, okay. And then I need to pick that straight line instead of the paint bucket, I got the straight line. So I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna just come down close to, to the center circle. That, like I said, that is strictly um, a guide for me to use to where I wanna stop making these lines. It won't stitch it. So then I take this one and I'm just kind of guessing at how I want them to go. And believe me, it's not easy to take a, a shaky hand and do this, but, but it's possible. <laughs> All right. So we'll take this one and put it down there. And I do this on each one of those flower petals. There we go. Now that's going to have the, the satin stitch. So I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to make sure it's satin stitch. Let's make it a different color so I can make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. We'll make it orange. And I'll get my paint bucket and I will touch that. Now as you can see... What it, what it did was it changed um, that outside outline to where it's all statin stitch, and I don't want that. It's because when I drew those lines, they, they touched that outer uh, flower line, and so it automatically changed it. So in order for me to make it stop doing that, I used this eraser tool, and I picked the smallest round one, and I come in here and I just erase those little points because remember, this is strictly a guide. Okay. So now it's not touching any of those. So, oh, I did, I did this wrong. I I'm, I'm did I did something wrong. So I'm going to use this arrow and I'm going to go back and take out all those erasing things. Okay. And then what I did was I erased once too far. So I'm going to come back in here and touch this one right there. And that would correct my mistake there. So I what I need to do now is e use my eraser smallest size and come in here and erase up here because this is strictly a guide that outer edge up there is is strictly a guide so i'll erase that as long as they don't touch i'm fine so what happens now is i want these to stitch and then i want an inch and a half down here to stitch. So I'm going to go about, uh, this is set my, my grid. You can go up here and set your grid. And this is set at three eighths. You can choose to set it at one inch too, but I like the three eighths inch size. So I'll say, okay, so I have a three eighths inch grid. So what happens here is it's, I know that because these are three eighths, between this line and this line, it's three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna come over here uh, about halfway in between that, that grid mark. And I'm going to use my eraser. And I'm going to come down here and just erase and then erase this going up right there. And I'm gonna do the same here and erase that. And you want to make sure you get all the little pieces. So what this is going to stitch right now is it's going to stitch these lines of the petal. And plus it's going to put the um, satin stitch on the bottom edge here. And that's exactly what, what you want in order for this to be the opening for the lollipop to go inside the flower. Um, I'm going to leave, leave this on here for now as a guide. Uh, I can change that and go back to the no-sew 
and I can click on, get my paint bucket and click on those, and I can touch those again, and then they, they'll turn black, and that means that's just a guide for me now. It's, it's not gonna sew it, because now I wanna add the vein lines in the center of the flower. These vein lines right here. I wanna add those into the center of the flower. So I'm gonna go back in to my line, and this time I want it to stitch the triple stitch. So I'm gonna pick the tri triple stitch, and I'm gonna make that orange too, so that that whole section is the same color. And I'm going to go to my um, line drawing, straight line, and I'm going to start here at, as the guide and bring out just the, the higher, the center line is longer than the outside too. So I'm just gonna draw some lines and you can make them any length you want. And they don't have to be even because it's a flower and flowers aren't perfect. And I think I'm going to go back and change that color though now when I look at it. Let's see, let's make it this green. And I'll get my paint can and I'll click on those lines I just drew and make them green. Okay. So now you can see the orange lines. That's the satin stitch uh, shaping the petals of the flower. And now we're doing the veins in the flower and they're green. So I've done the long ones and now I'll come in and I'll add some short ones. Whoa. Get a hold of this again and make sure I got the triple stitch. Get the line. Make some short ones. My arm gets tired <laughs> when I'm doing this. I have to take a little time off once in a while and let my arm rest but it's worth all the work when you get done so just drawing some veins that like I say they don't have to be perfect and there's the veins in the flower now uh, we got the satin stitch petals and then we've got the triple stitch veins and the center is not going to stitch here. I'm gonna blow it up once more, and I'm gonna go back and get my eraser, and I'm gonna erase these that overhang a little bit right here. Because what's gonna happen is, um, in the center here, um, the that's where the center of the flower is gonna be, and I try to keep the stitches from piling up on top of each other. So my, my center, I'm going to go make it a little bit smaller again. Um, I'm going to save this portion of the flower so I can bring that in as a layer on its own. So first of all, I'm going to get my eraser and I'm going to erase my guide. I'm going to take that out of there. Maybe I'll get a, a bigger size. It doesn't have to be that small. Then I don't have to be so on target. And make it a little bit smaller so I can get get rid of this. See it all. I got it at 400% right now. I don't know if that's dirt on my screen or... Um, anyway, there's the part that I want to save. So I'm going to put it in my pocket. So I'll click that and click the sewing machine and it, that goes in my pocket. Now I want to make um, the circle in the middle again. I want to duplicate that. So I'm gonna click all clear and take that off of there. And then I'm going to go in and pick a shape. And I'm gonna pick the circle and I'm going to size it and size it down to uh, 0.45. 
That's what my circle was that I had in there. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is instead of four five, I'm going to make it um, four zero point four zero for my center circle. And I'll say okay. And there's my little circle. We'll blow it up because it's a tiny little devil. And and there he is. And I am going to assign stitches to it. And I'm going to, oh, let's see. I, I guess I'll make it purple. Um, and, I, and I'm going to have it um, do the, um, oh, what do they call that? <laughs> well, let's, do, let's just do it. That stitch right there. <laughs> And so that's going to do my circle with that. Well, let's, let me see. I'm telling you too far ahead here. Let's go back. I want it to fill that circle. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick purple. And I'm going to pick the satin stitch. I'll say okay. And then I'll, these four buttons pertain to fill stitches. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pick the satin stitch, click the purple, and I'm just going to leave it at the satin stitch. It's so small, we don't need a pattern or anything in there. And then I'll get my paint bucket in that in the fill section, and I'll just touch it. And now it's filling with the satin stitch uh, in the center of that circle. Then I want to put a line around the outside. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to pick that stitch. Why can't I think of the name of that? That's driving me crazy. Anyway, I'm going to leave that. Well, maybe I'll make it a little, a little lighter purple. Um, and then I'm going to get my paint bucket. And I'm going to touch it. And now I have my center of my flower. Um, with a fill stitch in, in the middle. And then that outline stitch. So... Okay, and I'm going, now that I got that, I'm going to put that in my pocket. So I'm going to save that in the pocket and put it in the sewing machine pocket. So now I have my layers saved. So let's go back and clear it. And then let's, now let's go to the pocket with the arrow pointing to the right. And here I can get in my sewing machine. And you can see up here that this is the outline I saved in the beginning. This is the center of the flower that we made and I saved in the pocket. And this is the very center of that flower. So I have, have the layers made in, in sections. So the next section that I need to do is I need to have where this is the... Um, satin stitch I need it to stitch I'm going to pick um, that one and set it and I'm, let's blow it up and I know that the well let's add to it that that should you well know, I know that I went halfway um, when I used my eraser tool so that it would stitch this part right here um, on that center of the flower so I'll take my eraser tool and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go this time. I'm going to go to this side and I've already stitched this. So I'm going to go about halfway right there. And this is going to be the, um, the rest of the outline of the flower. I need to make sure that's a satin stitch. So we'll come up there to the satin stitch and I'm going to make that like a hot pink. And we'll go, okay, get my paint bucket, touch that, and I'm going to put that in the pocket. Okay, save it to the pocket. Now if I go back, let's go back and we'll go to the pocket with the arrow to the right, into the sewing machine, and you can see that, that this isn't going to sew at the bottom but here's the bottom on that one so this is um just stitching 
um, the flower down. We have um, tearaway stabilizer in, in the hoop with one layer of felt. So I'm going to get that and I'm going to set it. And let's blow it up a little bit. And this is this is gonna stitch down on the felt to the tearaway stabilizer. So then I want to go to next. And you can see that it's gonna stitch that down. And it's it's going to do the default is 0 0.08, and that's fine. We're gonna leave it at that. And we'll go preview. Nope. Say okay. Okay. And and I'll set it. Alright. And now we're we get into add. We need the next layer on there. I'm gonna blow that up a little bit. And I'm gonna add. And we'll go back into the sewing machine. And Oh, this is not the one I want to go to. Yep, we don't want to go in the sewing machine. We'll go to add. We'll go into my design center. And we'll go to the pocket. And go in there. And now we, we need to add the center of the flower. So we'll go get the center of the flower. Set it. And we go next. Oh, and it's it says it's going to do um, uh, orange um, a satin stitch. And I, I want this, it's set at 0 0.08. And I want that to be 0 0.06. So we'll change the width of the zigzag to 0 0.06. And set it and preview it. And there's the center of my flower. So up here it shows you that the orange, and that's the, um, the petals of the flower, and the, the little edge. And then the green is the veins of the flower. So we'll set it. And now you can see, let's blow it up. You can see it better. You can see the where it's stitching down the outline of the flower on the onto the felt and then and then it's going to stitch that center design um, plus the bottom of the outer edge with the with the uh, satin stitch so there you go all right now we're going to go back and we're going to add and we'll go back into design center and we'll go get the pocket again. And we'll pick the center of our flower. So we'll pick that one. And we'll set it. And we're going to just leave that the way it is. So we'll go next. And these are all the defaults. And that's fine. We'll leave them there. And we'll preview it. And there's the center of my flower. So we'll set it and we'll blow it up so you can see it. So you see that it's going to do, it's going to fill the center of that little round circle in the center. And then it's going to put that, that, what do they call that? I can't think of the name of it. It's going to put that stitch around the outside, which makes like little bumps. So it's like you're looking at the center of a flower in your garden and it, it, it just comes out really cute. Um, you, see, you can actually see the little bumps around around this one. So that's all set to go. Now the, the next thing that we need to do is we need to put the back of the flower. So we'll turn the hoop over and tape down a, a piece of felt that will cover that flower and just tape it a little bit on all four corners and turn it back over and then when we turn it back over we need to add the next layer so we'll add the layer go into my design center and go into the pocket with the arrow to the right 
into the sewing machine and we'll pick that last one that we did that did, did the outline, the satin stitch outline. And we'll go next. And we wanted to change this to 0 0.06, the zigzag width to 0 0.06. And we'll go set and then we'll preview it. And there's the rest of the outline. So we'll set that. And there is your completed flower. So you're ready to sew. So what's going to happen is when it sews that uh, intersection, it'll do this part of the outline. And then that will leave an opening from that point over to this point for the Dum Dum Lollipop to go inside of it. And there's your completed flower. So I'm going to stick that in memory and I'll put that in the sewing machine. And then I click on memory and we're all ready to stitch. So the first one, it's stitching down the outline, the felt um, to the tearaway stabilizer with just a straight stitch around the edge. And then let's see, you gotta go here to do it. And the next one, it's going to do this center section. And it's stitching that. It'll stitch all of that. Then it will add the veins in the middle. And there's the, cent the very center that's doing a fill stitch. And then there's the, the little knobs around the outside of the center. And then you put the felt piece on the back of your hoop and then it finishes the outline and stitches the um, flower all together and then all you have left to do is uh, take your scissors and trim close to um, the edge of the of the uh, satin stitch Let's see if I can get a hold of this again the edge of the satin stitch and you end up with a pretty little flower and you've learned how to use your eraser and your straight line tool. And so every time you make something, even no matter how small it is, you're learning a tool in Design Center. And pretty soon you, you'll just know the whole thing and you'll be able to do anything you want in Design Center. That's how I feel about it. I get excited every time I go in there. So good luck. I hope you make a, a lollipop cover. Bye.